Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unseen Whispers. Super volcanoes, unlike their regular counterparts, possess the ability to unleash cataclysmic eruptions that can have far-reaching consequences. While conventional volcanoes can cause significant damage and disruption to local areas, super volcanoes have the potential to affect the entire planet. One of the most significant differences between regular and super volcanoes is the scale of their eruptions. Supervolcanoes can produce eruptions that are orders of magnitude larger than those of ordinary volcanoes. These eruptions can release immense volumes of lava, ash, and gases into the atmosphere, leading to widespread devastation and environmental impact. Following a supervolcano eruption, the immediate aftermath can be devastating. The expulsion of volcanic ash and gases into the atmosphere can obscure the sun, resulting in darkness that envelops vast regions for days or even weeks. This prolonged darkness can disrupt ecosystems, affect agriculture, and trigger mass panic among populations worldwide. Moreover, the volcanic ash produced by super eruptions is not just a nuisance, it poses significant health risks and can wreak havoc on infrastructure. The fine particles of ash can clog machinery, damage buildings, and contaminate water sources, making it difficult for communities to access essential resources. In addition to the immediate impacts, supervolcano eruptions can have long-term consequences for global climate and weather patterns. The release of sulfur aerosols and other gases into the atmosphere can lead to cooling effects, altering temperatures, and precipitation patterns on a global scale. These changes can disrupt ecosystems, agriculture, and human settlements, leading to food shortages, economic downturns, and social unrest. The most terrifying aspect of a supervolcano is that one such volcano exists right now, lying dormant beneath America, poised to erupt at any moment. If Yellowstone's supervolcano were to awaken and unleash its fury, the consequences could be catastrophic. The eruption of a supervolcano is defined by the Volcanic Explosivity Index of 8, the highest level of volcanic explosion. According to the United States Geological Survey, a volcano is classified as super if it has experienced at least one eruption releasing over 240 cubic miles of material, a volume more than twice that of Lake Erie. Over the past 132 million years, only 40 eruptions have reached VE8, occurring approximately once every 50,000 years. The most recent such eruption occurred around 27,000 years ago in New Zealand. However, recent evidence suggests that Yellowstone supervolcano is showing signs of impending activity, raising concerns among scientists about its potential to erupt. The Yellowstone supervolcano, nestled deep within Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, spans approximately 43 by 28 miles or 70 by 28 kilometers and took shape around 2.1 million years ago. Supervolcanoes like Yellowstone's can emerge under various circumstances. For instance, Yellowstone's formation is attributed to hot spots and rising magma plumes from deep within the Earth. These hotspots give rise to numerous volcanoes due to the constant movement of tectonic plates. Regardless of the magma's origin, a substantial quantity is necessary to trigger a super eruption. As magma accumulates, pressure within the underground chamber intensifies, ultimately leading to an eruption of colossal proportions. The Yellowstone volcano is believed to have erupted only three times in its history. 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 664,000 years ago. Each eruption was accompanied by the release of massive amounts of rock dust and ash into the atmosphere, potentially obscuring the sun for vast regions of the country. If the Yellowstone volcano were to erupt again in 2022, the consequences would be catastrophic. The onset of a super eruption could be preceded by a series of small earthquakes, signaling an impending disaster. The ensuing seismic activity would be severe and impossible to ignore, foreboding a devastating outcome. While the immediate threat posed by the flow of lava from a supervolcano eruption may seem localized, it is the volcanic ash that poses the most significant danger and has far-reaching consequences. Volcanic ash, composed of fine particles of glass, rock, and other materials, is highly abrasive and corrosive. As it is ejected into the atmosphere during a super eruption, it can be carried for thousands of miles by prevailing winds, affecting regions far beyond the immediate vicinity of the volcano. The sheer volume of ash produced during such an event can create a thick layer that blankets vast areas, significantly impacting daily life and infrastructure. 
The consequences of a widespread ash fall are numerous and severe. Airborne ash can pose serious health risks to humans and animals, causing respiratory issues and skin irritation. Inhaling volcanic ash can also lead to long-term health problems, including lung disease and respiratory conditions. Moreover, the abrasive nature of the ash can damage machinery, vehicles, and infrastructure, leading to disruptions in transportation and communication networks. The impact of volcanic ash on agriculture and ecosystems can be devastating. The layer of ash covering the land can smother vegetation, inhibit photosynthesis, and contaminate soil and water sources. This can lead to crop failures, loss of biodiversity, and disruption of food chains, ultimately affecting the livelihoods of communities reliant on agriculture and natural resources. Furthermore, the thick layer of ash can disrupt daily life in numerous ways. It can obscure visibility, making travel hazardous and navigation difficult. Ashfall can also contaminate water supplies, making it unsafe for consumption and agricultural use. Cleanup efforts following a volcanic ashfall can be arduous and time-consuming, requiring extensive resources and coordination. However, the repercussions of such a rare event extend beyond human impact. The eruption sulfur aerosols would scatter into the atmosphere, reflecting sunlight and potentially cooling the planet's climate. Thus, the aftermath of the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would leave enduring scars on both human society and the Earth's delicate ecological balance. In April 1815, the eruption of Mount Tambora in present-day Indonesia had significant global repercussions. Despite being a VEI-7 eruption, which is lower than what Yellowstone's volcano might produce, the eruption injected sulfur aerosols into the atmosphere, causing widespread damage to the planet's climate and agricultural systems. The eruption column reached more than 141,000 feet into the stratosphere, with ash particles lingering in the atmosphere for years. This led to unusual and vibrant sunsets for months afterward. The eruption devastated plant life worldwide and triggered famine in various regions. Indonesia, in particular, suffered extensive vegetation loss. The aftermath of the Mount Tambora eruption was famously known as the Year Without a Summer in 1816. Global temperatures dropped significantly, leading to agricultural failures. Snow even fell in New York in June, lasting for months and destroying crops across North America. Another notable eruption occurred in 1991 when Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines. Despite being much smaller than Yellowstone's potential eruption, it still caused a significant impact on global temperatures. Sulfur dioxide emissions from Mount Pinatubo interacted with the atmosphere, resulting in a temporary cooling effect on the planet's surface for about three years. Following a super eruption, the impact on global temperatures could be devastating, potentially leading to significant cooling effects on a global scale. This contrasts with the comparatively milder temperature changes observed after eruptions from smaller volcanoes like Mount Pinatubo. However, despite the potential severity of such an event, our ability to predict and prevent super eruptions remains limited. As a result, we must rely on proactive measures to mitigate the impacts of climate change. One effective way to contribute to environmental conservation efforts is by utilizing platforms like REN, which offer tools for individuals to calculate and offset their carbon footprint. By supporting projects focused on tree planting and rainforest protection through REN, individuals can play a direct role in combating deforestation and promoting biodiversity. For instance, the tech-enabled Amazon Rainforest Protection Initiative utilizes advanced technologies such as satellite monitoring and drones to detect and combat illegal deforestation activities rapidly. Through participation in such initiatives, individuals not only offset their carbon emissions, but also contribute to broader efforts aimed at preserving vital ecosystems and combating climate change. By receiving regular updates on the projects they support, participants can stay informed and engaged in the ongoing conservation efforts. That was all from us today for this video, folks. For more similar content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.